teams I've been at sometimes I forget them things happened because I feel like I've never been anywhere else um I definitely see City as home and everything about it the, the girls the players the staff we all have one mentality in one direction and that's to win and the demand of this football club so high and I just I love being a part of that pressure feeling I think it's something that you know you go home every day and you think about these things and you know wake up in the morning with the same feeling I have four or five years ago when I signed so that's when you know you've you've you're exactly where you're meant to be people always say like winning's infectious right and like like I said there's no better place to do it when you came back to City when you moved to City was that something you were like right I'm setting the standard here now like regardless of what everyone else is doing I know what I'm doing when I wake up and everyone sort of joins up with you right yeah I suppose so I think when you come to a team like this though and you look at the players that were already here um you probably didn't need to do that so much because they already had it ingrained in them to win I came to a team that had won FA Cups won Conti Cups won the WSL and I wasn't coming here going I've been at Lyon and by the way this is how we win this was a winning team when I was coming into anyways hence the reason why coming here was a no-brainer and I think there was never a doubt in my mind I was coming to this club and for them reasons that I've just left a club that was renowned for winning I'm signing for a club that's renowned for winning and does everything to compete so it kind of went hand in hand a little bit what I brought was a different way of thinking and maybe a different culture way of thinking more than how to win if that makes sense yeah. so um, I didn't necessarily bring the oomph if you want to say I just brought added a little bit of a piece of the jigsaw Talk to you about the move in the city how did like how did that deal come about? To City? Yeah. I think, well, I knew I was out of contract at Lyon in that, that summer. Um, and to be honest with you, at the time when I was, it was more around Christmas time. And obviously then you when you go sign for a team abroad, you can speak earlier. So I kind of had an idea then that I wanted to to see, obviously see, see the season. I wanted to win the Champions League and I wanted to come home. Where home was at the time, I, di- I didn't know. And I knew City were interested a little bit, so... I invested in it, I listened and I probably kind of made my decision at Christmas, which is probably quite early to do Mm -hmm. when you haven't played the most important part of the season, which is the back end of cup finals and Champions League and so on. Um, But I knew I was going to make my decision completely at the end of the season. And to be honest with you, the closer it got to the end of the season, I kind of found it harder to do because I was loving my time at Lyon. Um, I made some really good friends there. Again, I, I probably, by the time the year was up, I'd come out my shell. I was playing really good football in myself um, and obviously the winning side of things is like you said infectious and you become addicted to that feeling and I just didn't want that feeling to go but when the opportunity for City to come you, you don't turn that opportunity again you don't turn that opportunity down because I was coming home I was coming to a club who played the football I love the way the style of play um, under the manager who wanted to play the way I enjoy playing football so Again, like I said, sometimes in life opportunities come and you, you can't turn them down and this was one of them. Over 100 appearances for City, mm-hmm. signed a new contract two years ago. Is this home for you now? Does this feel like you're playing your best football, you're most comfortable? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think even speaking about like teams I've been at, sometimes I forget them things happened because I feel like I've never been anywhere else. Um, I definitely see City as home and everything about it. The, the girls, the players, the staff, not just the women's staff, the the city itself, the whole the whole group is, we all have one mentality in one direction and that's to win and the demand of this football club so high and I just, I love being a part of that pressure feeling. I think it's something that, you know, you go home every day and you think about these things and, you know, wake up in the morning with the same feeling I have four or five years ago when I signed. So that's when you know you've, you've, you're exactly where you're meant to be. You're part of the captain's group. You're a senior player here. What's it like with the younger girls coming through? Is it? Do you feel like a role model for them or is it everyone's here together, like let's all do our job? Uh, role model's quite a big word. I think more of like, a, you know, I want to set an example. I want to be a good example for, for the younger girls. I want them not to be in awe of me, to be able to come and speak to me, you know. I want them to be able to have a conversation if it's a good one, if it's a bad one, if it's about football, if it's about life and... Um, I try and make treat everyone the same whether you're 100 appearances in or you won like we're here for the same job and we're here for the same same outcome um, obviously in different situations your demand for certain people will look differently but you know you, you learn that over time when you get to know people personally and how to get the best out of everyone and that just that's just part of being 
you know, part of a team. I think that just becomes natural. I feel like every time I scroll social media and there's a build, build your baller, your effort always comes in. <laughs> it's always there. I don't want to inflate your ego too much. Um, Alana Kennedy described you as world class. Talk to me about your relationship, because obviously it's important on the pitch, but I know you're good friends off the pitch as well, right? She just makes me smile, you know, honestly, when you say her name. Yeah, I love Lauren. She's she's just, she's a, a really close friend. Um, we've got a fantastic relationship. She's, you know, someone I trust massively with, with everything, and I love her style of play on the pitch. I think we complement each other really well. Um, but she's just a, a great person. She's got such an unbelievable energy within the group. She brings so much she doesn't even realise how funny she is sometimes. You know, she could say something that's so serious but because it's Lance and the way she, she says it. It's just something it's just funny and she's a she's a great person to have in the team and yeah, such a such a good player as well. You've been in Team of the Years, Women's World Eleven, won the Euros. Is this like span of the last three, four years for you like the best of your career? I think I'm playing the best football of my career for sure. I think that's that's why I've just said I feel like where I am is is where I'm meant to be. I feel so comfortable here, but not comfortable in such as I've accepted where I am. I don't wake up and go, I can't improve anymore, because if I did that, then I, I just don't think it'd be where I'm meant to be. I, I have so much more hunger now than when I signed, because I still want to win trophies and I still want to make this team the best it can possibly be. And that fire in my belly is still there. And I'm like, on the off-season, I you know, I can't wait to get back and I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see the new players. I'm excited to see the girls who were here last year. I'm sad to see the girls that have gone and um I just wanna win. I just wanna win and I wanna do it our way. Um and that's something I pride myself on. Obviously you had the best defensive record in the WSL last season, missed out on goal difference. I wanna know one, how much it stings, but also like how much is that fuel for the fire for the upcoming season? Yeah, it stings bad, I think, to lose a title on goal differences, especially as a defender, um, with probably the best record in, in the league as well. is is um, It's tough to take, definitely, to come down to so so close last two games of the season. But I think we have to put that on ourselves. You know, I think we have to look in the mirror first of all before we look at anyone else. And what can you do better as, as an individual? What could the team do better? I thought we were so good last year in, in so many ways, but... I think it's so exciting that we were that good, but I still think we can be so much better. Um, and that really excites me because, you know, if if you ask anyone, I think, you know, everyone says, you know, we play the best style of football, and but ultimately it's about winning football matches. And I think no matter what, we do it our way and we'll never change. And I love that about us. So, like you said, that, that just gives me fuel because this season we'll go and try and do it again. Um, and add the Champions League in the mix, which is exciting because that's where everyone wants to play and on a European stage. A few of the players haven't played Champions League football before. How excited are you for to one player mm-hmm. again, and but also for like them to experience it? Yeah, it's nothing like Champions League football. Um, Wednesday, Thursday nights. You know, it's it is. It's. I want them to enjoy it because it's not something you get to do every day. Not everyone has them opportunities, and I think people go into football and say, "I want to play Champions League football." And of course, it's one thing having them ambitions, and it's another thing being able to do it. So. Like I said, it's you know, we'll speak about it as a group and um, coming up against foreign teams looks completely different to what it looks like in the WSL and we have to be really prepared for that. So I think, yeah, we've got enough players and team who've experienced it to, to help the rest of the group, but absolutely enjoy it and embrace it because it's, it's the best competition. 